be coming up next week. You have Jermaine Ortiz facing off against Teofimo Lopez. Mm-hmm. This is Jermaine Ortiz's first fight at 140 pounds on this level. Right. Who wins? I mean, Teofimo is an explosive fighter. Again, he's he, he got that. Uh, he's like one of those athletes that just happens to box, like a like a uh, Pascal type of guy, Roy Jones type of guy from that ilk where boxing doesn't dominate. His athleticism does. So Tiafimo, I think against a pressure fighter, a guy like Ortiz who can do a little bit of everything, who can stay in your face and, and really tear it up, I think uh, Tiafimo had his hands full with this one because you saw how he did against Cambosis, who we found when he fought Haney isn't the greatest boxer, but he was able to just you know keep the basics together enough to give Tiafimo trouble when they fought. So I think this is a good fight uh, in favor of, in my opinion, I, I, I favor Ortiz in this fight. I know people think I'm crazy for that, but I think Tiafimo front runs a lot and I need to see him carry his power throughout the entire fight. I think he's faded in, in, in the last couple big fights that he's had, he's faded in the second half. Against Lomachenko, Lomachenko started coming back in the second half of that fight. Same thing with Ken Bosa and so on. So uh, I just want to see him carry, carry he, he that. He did carry it against Josh Shelley, even though he didn't, um, he didn't stop him. Right. I mean, I'm not saying he, he can't bang in the end of fights. I'm just saying, like, he gets worn down due to the fact that he's so explosive. You know, you got a lot of guys that just throw with everything they have with, with uh, every shot early on, and uh, they, they tend to fade late. So I think Tiafimo got his hands full in this one. I, although, you know, he, he if he can establish himself, he can, he can clip Ortiz early, you know, he can carry the fight and, and kind of pace himself. But he got to stick to his game plan and not come out overly aggressive. He don't need to have an impressive knockout. Just just outbox the guy and, and win, you know what I mean? I think if he tries to exchange a little too much early and he doesn't get the dividends that he wants early when he does that, then this could be a fight that, that tends to uh, lean to Ortiz in the later round.